Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia, brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes, or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, the documentary, Just a Plowboy, is about which playwright raised in the Athabasca region? Is it A, George Luscombe, B, Morris Panitch, or C, George Riga? And the answer is C, George Riga. I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. George is the author of 15 stage plays, 9 radio plays, 15 television dramas, 4 films, and 4 novels, including The Ballad of a Stone Picker, which is a thinly disguised autobiography of his boyhood in Alberta. Riga also wrote one book of nonfiction, two books of, op- of poetry, three oratorios, two records, and one short story along with a collection of short stories. Interestingly enough, from my observation, few Albertans know of this writer of international acclaim who was born to poor Ukrainian farmers in Richmond Park, about 35 kilometers north of Athabasca. However, in Summerland, BC, where George spent the last years of his life, the annual Riga Arts Festival is a vibrant celebration inspired by him. Don Rubin at this festival notes that Riga is arguably the most important Anglophone playwright who ever lived and worked. He was the first dramatist to dare suggest that racism was a part of Canada's glorious history. George's play, The Ecstasy of Rita Jo, has appeared in print more than any other Canadian play and has been in print since the first edition appeared in 1970. Based on the story of a young indigenous woman's ordeal and eventual rape and murder in the big city, it challenged audiences as it explored social reality in Canada. Commissioned by the Vancouver Playhouse Theatre, it opened the mid-festivities in November 1967 for Canada's centennial celebrations. Chief Dan George, whose A Lament for Confederation was included in the program notes for the opening, appeared in the play with Frances Highland, who played Rita Jo. The critically acclaimed Margot Kane was the first Indigenous actress to play Rita Jo and went on to be known as the mother of Canadian Indigenous Theatre in Canada. She recognized that the voice of her people needed to be heard and that at that time, in the late 1960s, there were very few voices. While there are protocols around supporting inclusion of other voices, in that situation it was about collaboration and people were willing to be part of the story because of George's understanding and his desire to tell the stories of those who would never be able to. The documentary Just a Plowboy is an amazing film about George Riga. The social injustices of the time and the life of poor Ukrainian immigrants are all rolled into one. I would like to thank Gina Pizant who developed the film for sharing with me her pictures and information. I met Gina through our mutual love of Alberta's history. She's a former teacher, archivist, and now a document- documentary filmmaker. The National Screen Institute link to Just a Plowboy can be found in the YouTube credits. I hope you watch it and learn more about the life of this amazing Canadian playwright who was Alberta raised. And tomorrow's question is... Cardston is named after which Mormon leader and settler? Is it A, Charles Ora Card, B, Brigham Young Card, or C, John Taylor Card? Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy! Enjoy!